So here I have a cylinder, and you know the cylinder is the, the most basic form that you start off with if you want to make any uh, form on the wheel. So at this point, I'm going to take my rib on the outside, and I have cleaned up most of the water on the pot. And I don't have a lot of water and slip on my hands. So at 4 o'clock, just like uh, we do when we smooth, I can take this rib and start smoothing it out along 4 o'clock. You see it's crossed from my fingers like that. But to do something different, to change it up, I'm going to push it out a little bit to change the form. So I'm going to take my hand on the inside. My outside hand is going to give way. It's just going to be kind of bracing it. So right here, about this point here, I'm going to start pushing it into the rib like this. I'm pushing out just softly. Now I don't want to keep pushing out, so I let go of my inside hand, and then my right hand starts pressing in like this, and then it, get, it gives me that little curve right there. And we can keep going out and out. I could go out here at the top. Um, you know, people play with different forms, but I'm just going to make it go out a little bit more. At some point, gravity is going to take over, and this pot might not stand up too well. So I'm going to push that out. Now I'm going to give way to pressing in, so I have a little bit of a neck there. And I'm just kind of finishing up smoothing the pot all at 4 o'clock. I'm good to go. I have a little, uh, a little open vase with a belly on it now. This bottom, uh, bottom clay here, I don't need this. It's spread out a little bit, so at 4 o'clock I can take my rib and shave all that off. Like that. Then I'm going to give it a little bit of an undercut down here with the point of the rib. So I just gently scrape that in. Every, every movement I take my hands away slowly. I'm going to shove my sponge up under that undercut, press it with my finger. Give it a little bit of a foot. Once again, I'm going to take my plastic across the top. I can always smooth it more at leather hard at the table. Lay that in softly like that. Pretty good. Set my bat up here. Your hands need to be completely dry when you pick this up dry off my hands completely. Tighten up my wire. I go across the bottom and then as soon as I drag it through the bottom like this, as soon as I do that, I grab it here, I tilt it forward like there. By tilting it forward it releases it. I set it on my bat, my wear board. If you have some you know areas where you're it's kind of sticky and your fingers mess it up a little bit, it's totally okay, you can smooth it at leather hard.